Man, in every show there is an ebb and a flow. That man is the ebb. Consider me the flow. I'm a newer comic, and I got to tell you guys, I get put on stage a lot lately, and, and people like Shane, I cannot believe you guys keep putting me on stage. Thank you. I have not had to sleep with anybody to get on stage. I haven't had to. I would never sleep with somebody for a job. I think that's disgusting. I sleep with them afterwards. It's a thank you card. <laughs> I just found out, uh, I've, I've had a really rough year. I found out that my husband was cheating on his mistress. I knew he was cheating on me. I just couldn't believe he was cheating on her. Ridiculous, man. I got a divorce. I had to. I had the kind of marriage even Dr. Phil wouldn't try to save. He'd have been like, y'all are done. You know? It's like, I have a three-year-old kid. I pray to God my kid never asks me what went wrong. I'd be like, well, honey, while your daddy was busy making new female friends, your mommy made a new friend. Alcohol. <laughs> and if we had stayed together any longer, your entire childhood would have been <laughs> So I got divorced. I, I had to. You know, I, my kid deserves better than that. I, I don't, does anybody here have children? Do you guys have kids? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have been a babysitter. I've been a nanny. I've been around kids my whole life. I'm a comic now. I'm trying to write material about my kid. I have nothing to write. My child is perfect. I've been around some <laughs> in my life. My three-year-old is amazing. He, he cleans up after himself. He uses his manners. He uses his words. He, he dresses himself. He does his own hair. I know all parents say this about their kids, but I'm telling you, my kid is gay. <laughs> <laughs> so is yours. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you're laughing way too hard at that. Three-year-old. <laughs> Is it a boy? Is he a boy? Girl. Uh, won't work. <laughs> anyway, no, but I just, I have the most beautiful child. And, and you know what? People are always saying to me, they're like, Nicole, you are so happy. It's been only a year after all the shit that's gone down. You're so happy. And I'm like, yeah, I am. You know why I'm so happy? I've been with the same man for 11 years. After 11 years, you know what I was ready for? And I went straight to the top, people. I found myself the biggest, blackest brother I could find. <laughs> and, and by the way, by the way, I just have to let you know, the, the joke, I wish, I wish this really were a joke, the, the, the gentleman that I was with, he let me know right away that he wasn't even attracted to white women. He actually prefers beautiful African-American women, but he was a charitable man. <laughs> I mean no disrespect to my ex-husband, I'm just saying that after 11 years with the same man, sex gets a little old. It becomes like a bad dance routine from the 90s, like the Macarena. You guys are like, did she just say Macarena? That is such a tired reference. Exactly. It's like, hey, Macarena, missionary style, doggy style, cowgirl, reverse cow. You just do this over and over and over again. Until somebody comes, somebody falls asleep, or somebody drops dead for boredom. So I'm sleeping around a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I, I had to stop though. Again, I have a kid. I can't do that to my kid. I mean, my, I'll make him lose every Yo Mama Joe contest there ever was. <laughs> my poor kid will be out on the playground. Dude, your mom's so slutty, you know, my mom is a slut. You win, here's my lunch money. <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't around for the Girls Gone Wild era, you know? My kid would be in the video store with his friends and I'd be like on a box cover with my shirt up. <laughs> Dude, your mom's so skanky. Yeah, we've already covered that. Can't do that to my kid. I've, uh, here's the thing, though. Is, is, uh, when I think about having a kid, I have had the wildest past, and I'm not proud of it. I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just saying this is what I've done. There are so many. Uh, one thing you guys should know is that I did. I, I, I quit drinking. I, I needed to. You know, I, I, my, my poor kid, you know, did, did, could you imagine? But, you know, I will say this. Motherhood's so much easier when you got a buzz going. It is. It is. But I cut out on the drinking. I stopped playing around. But I will say another reason why I quit drinking is I'm looking at you pretty ladies sitting here. You're gorgeous, by the way. Look at your eyes. See, now here's the thing. Every time I drink, I think I'm gay. <laughs> and I end up making out with some chick. <laughs> Although you might make me reconsider. But here's the thing. But see, here's why I won't. Here's why I won't. Because I was in Ralph's with my kid, right? I'm in soccer mom mode. I'm going down the aisle. I'm like going down the aisle. And along comes this woman with her three kids, and we're both in soccer mom mode. And we're looking at each other. We're like, we know each other. Is that from mommy and me or preschool? <laughs> Roxbury bathroom stall, 1993. <laughs> Bald. <laughs> 
Ya. <laughs> Had to stop that. When I finally do find a man, though, when I really do, when I'm ready to finally find a man, I, I, you know, in Hollywood, the only thing I'm looking for when it comes to a man is I just want to find a man who appreciates a real woman as opposed to a little girl. Yeah. Does anybody yeah. understand what I'm saying here? Yeah. Do you understand? Did, I mean, men who are interested in little girls need not apply. There's a whole different ball game when you're dealing with women and little girls. Little girls, they're adorable, they're sweet. It has nothing to do with age, shape, or size. Goldie Hawn, little girl, cute, adorable. Angelina Jolie, woman. The biggest difference between women and little girls is in the sack. Okay, if you're having sex with a little girl, um, she's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be sexy. She'll be, you know, making poses for you. Her hair will be perfect. And when she's done, she'll probably cry. And you might want to hold her. <laughs> With a woman, it's a whole different ball game. You know what? We're, we're not sucking in our stomach. Your dick's hanging out. You obviously like something. <laughs> our hair's gonna get all messed up. Makeup's not dripping out of our nose. We don't care how we get there, just so long as we get there. And when we're done, don't touch us. Right. As a matter of fact, you know what? Leave the room. Go play PlayStation. Come check back in on us in 20 minutes, make sure we're not dead. And if we're there and we're popping another one out, it just means we weren't done and you're welcome to come back in and join the party. <laughs> so I'm from Utah. You guys didn't see that one coming. I'm from Utah. Segway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, here's the thing about being from Utah, though. Um, I, you know what, I'm not a Mormon. Not that you asked, but I'm not a Mormon. I, Mormons terrify me. I am terrified of the Mormons. I used to babysit families that had 15 kids, and you know, every three months, boom, there was another one. I was so glad when I got to Los Angeles and saw the Mexicans. <laughs> political joke there. I was just really happy. I'm going to leave you guys with this. I was so happy when I got to Los Angeles and I could finally find something to worship that means something, something powerful. Celebrities. <laughs> I love celebrities. I was talking about Angelina Jolie. I worship that bitch. I love Angelina Jolie. I got, I, 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 I would drink tequila for her. I would. <laughs> But I would never want to be her. I would never want to be that gorgeous, that rich, that famous. That bitch has got some bad karma coming her way, and she knows it, too. That's why she's like, you know what? Give me that Cambodian kid. I'll adopt it. You know what? Give me the African kid. Come on. Come to mama. All right, now I get a big Brad Pitt. How about I just join the UN? You guys have been fun. Thanks for letting me come up here and party for a little bit. Thank you.